through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 202. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of November 6th. Woo! That's a Tuesday. Good, good start to yeah. the month of November. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm getting ready for the holiday spirit. Good stuff mm -hmm, is coming out. Mm -hmm, I'm feeling the vibes. You know, I'm rolling. We're getting out there, voting. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Vote. Yes. After you watch this, go vote if you please, haven't already. Please. So that's vote for me. Write me in, and Spencer. Yeah, yeah of course. It's yeah. a, it's a tag Thomas, yeah. 2012, exactly. or Thomas Fornishari. Whichever. We don't care. Yeah, yeah. It, it all goes the It'll same. It'll be a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm president. <laughs> hey. <Yay! laughs> all right. Let's get this party started though with the release of the Amazing Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. This is the reboot. Yes. of the Spider-Man franchise from director Mark Webb, yes. starring Andrew Garfield. You probably Stone, saw it. Yeah. did pretty well. Mm -hmm. It was in 3D. Three dimensions. And so there's all sorts of different variants of it coming out, but there's one... Because um, the home consumer market of three-dimensional television. Well, they also release everything with like the Blu-ray 3D one, and then yeah. there's just the regular <laughs> yeah. 3D one. And so It's like the old widescreen versus full screen debates has now become Blu-ray DVD. Yeah. And so... Not only that, but you know, we're gonna go with the most packed mm -hmm. one, which is the Blu-ray 3D one, which has yes. that Blu-ray DVD, and it has the ultraviolet yes, digital copy as well. There's a whole bunch of special features once you bump up to Blu-ray at the very least, mm. though. Yes. And there's special features on each different one, like the 3D one is different ones than the Blu-ray ones, etc. Mm. For instance, might be a good the 3D one. One of the ones that interests me was the 103 3D 101 with director Mark Webb, because huh. I thought it was interesting. You know, I don't necessarily think the 3D in Spider-Man was Amazing. Mm. I thought it was fine. Gotcha. Uh, I was it some... done in post or was it probably not? No, I, I think it was done in production. This, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it was done right. in production. But, you know, some people I know thought it was much better than me. Maybe oh, I'm just an gotcha. anti 3D person. You know? <laughs> anti 3D ite. But at the very least, I think it's interesting as somebody, you know, who hadn't directed in 3D mm, before yeah. to have to become, you know, savvy in the yeah, world versed. of three dimensional yeah. filmmaking that you know it, it'd be interesting to hear him talk about the process of learning yeah. about that how you what do it yeah, yeah exactly after that you got a, an audio commentary from the filmmakers which i think is always a classic especially for something one. like rebooting yep uh one that i also think is a good one is casting oh. i would love to know how they came to serve emma stone and yeah. andrew garfield i mean i think they're they're good. And, I thought uh, they're good. Rice e Ivans. E yep, probably. Presumably he'd be in there as well. And uh, the last one that I thought was kind of cool was their 16 pre-visualization sequences. Huh. And believe me, this is not all of them. There's tons and tons oh, of stuff. Oh yeah, there's more. just there's some of the highlights. Stunt rehearsals, development and mm -hmm. direction, on location, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. costumes. Yeah. So I mean, if you're a fan of the movies, this is incredibly comprehensive, and Very. it'll set you up on every format that. Is out there right now. Pretty much. So, yeah. It'll be good to rolling. go. Yep. Yeah. Next up, uh, one that is becoming a modern holiday classic, yes. Arthur Christmas. Mm. I couldn't believe when I saw that this was coming out on November 6th. And mm. the reason for this is because the film came out last year. Okay. Last year, Ed from the MacGuffin site gave it an A minus. Okay. Big, big supporter, big, big advocate okay. of that film. And I was like, oh, great. I'll, I'll, I'll go be sure to check it out. Needless to say, I forgot about it completely. But needless to say. You mean I, you didn't have a long list of things to watch that always grows daily on a moment by moment I'm basis? It's hard to believe that I, I do. I know. Weird. It's crazy. I actually do that. <laughs> but <laughs> nevertheless, that I saw it, it was coming out. I was like, oh, that's great. I was like, Really? This didn't come out in a year? And I guess they didn't. I guess they held off waiting, you know, for the to next make holiday a new secret. Christmas, uh, yeah. Which is which is cool. I mean, th again, they do the same sort of thing as Spider-Man with the, the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, ultraviolet digital mm, copy mm -hmm, edition, mm -hmm. which is not a surprise since both of them are Sony. Shocker there. But this one has a much more limited selection of special features. And goodies. Yes. yes. There's uh, an elf recruitment video, which I think is pretty funny. All right. Uh, there's unwrapping Arthur Christmas, which sort of discussing you know the development of the yes. project, and then there's a whole bunch of progression reels, sort of with various sequences from hmm. throughout the film, which I think is interesting. But you know, I, I think this is more of one of those films at this point that you get if you're a really big fan of the film, and I think mm, a yes. lot of people are. I'm very eager to check it out. Hmm. I'll be renting it from Scarecrow for sure. Yeah. But in terms of like special features and all that sort of stuff, if you're sort of hemming and hawing on the fence, I don't think there's really enough necessarily to push me over yes. fully. I kind of feel like I might want to wait a little bit longer and see if there's anything else that comes out down the road. But it is. I mean, at the very least, you got all your different 
yeah, medium. different formats, and at least we're you know we're it's scary to realize we're already at the point where Christmas shopping has become major. And let us know if you think this is a modern holiday classic. I'm curious so. because it seems to be getting a swelling. I know at least a handful of people that hmm. think that it's uh, going to join that, that litany. Uh, Christmas story too. It's not on there, surprisingly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that did not make it on there somehow. <laughs> Moving right along, though, we're going to talk about the collector's edition yes. of They Live. Yes. This is coming out from Shout Factory. And Shout Factory, for those of you who don't know, we've spoken about a lot before. Oh, man, totally. But they're essentially in the same vein as somebody like Criterion. Yes. Maybe not as prestigious as Criterion in terms yeah. of the films and TV Maybe shows. Maybe more they indie underground yeah. uh, vein of what the yes. kinds of things and they I think they do more enforce. TV as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, they were big mystery science theater uh, yes. promoters. They, they, have, they have great stuff, but they do a good job of packaging everything. Very much And, so. you know, having special features and stuff like that. So they, they're sort of in that same vein. And they're doing a release of They Live, the John Carpenter Alien classic. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Rowdy Kick Roddy ass, Piper. Chew bubble right, gum and exactly. a of bubble gum. One of the top five fights yes. of all time, according Re to the MacGuffin Re list. Created in uh, South Park. Yes. Shot for shot. Exactly, which was like awesome. Cripple fight. Yeah. Needless to say, this this has been released before as mm. a collector's edition. I went actually through and just to check and see what is different and what's new or whatever, what's interesting. Look at him. Yep, you know, check it out. They have, as you might expect from before, there's an audio commentary with John Carpenter and Roddy Piper. Uh -huh. There's an interview with John Carpenter. There's an interview with David or Keith David. And mm. there's an interview yes. with Meg Foster, neither of which existed before huh. on the, the previous releases. Cool. There is Already looking good. Uh, a special feature ad on the visual style, stunts, and music of the film, which was not there before. There is a, two th a 2012 cast reunion Q&A nice. with Roddy Piper, Keith David, and Meg Foster. Obviously, that did not occur before. Obviously, when they probably filmed the or recorded the commentaries, too. They're like, hey, since uh, you're all I here. Think the, I think the commentary existed before. Oh, okay. It, Just or, not early, on the... Or there was one before uh, like the a laser release. disc or something. I think it was weird, a DVD, yeah. but it was like 2003 or something <laughs> okay, like yeah. that. So it was a long time ago. And then there's a never-before-seen footage from the commercials created for the film, which I nice. think is pretty cool. So, TV spots. Those yeah. are always weird. And if you uh, are a really hardcore fan you can go to shoutfactory.com and pre-order it and get possibly one of the 500 yes. limited edition uh 18 by 24 posters with commemorative posters special bitches. artwork that they had done which yeah i'm a big fan yeah. of specialized especially for posters. that movie of, the, no. of all i mean that's a pretty visually iconic movie i can just see the, a pretty pulp-esque yeah cool, I imagine it'd be cool art in my head but you know john carpenter how can you go wrong Exactly. How can you? Yes. Finally, uh, we're going to talk about the Criterion release of Rashomon. Mm -hmm. Again, you might be saying this has been previous released. Yes. Uh, and it has on Criterion before. Yes. I actually own the previous release. Mm -hmm. That being said, this has not just been HD bump. There's okay. actually new features on it, which I'm awesome. pleased to see. Thank and they're you, doing Criterion. that both on DVD and H or uh, Blu-ray. Good. So that's that's good to see. Good thing. I'm I'm glad they're not doing as many HD bumps, or at least... Yes, exactly, I agree. Know. Or if they do, they're doing more with it, not just having that totally. be the entire release. Totally, so. and I agree. And, you know, it's nice to see. Uh, for instance, this one has added an audio commentary by Japanese film historian Donald Ritchie. Ooh. Um, there's a testimony... Uh, a testimony as an image, a 68-minute documentary featuring interviews with the cast and crew. Wow. There's archival audio interview with actor Takashi Shimura. Yes. There's a new English subtitle translation, which wow. I'm curious to check out yeah, and see that, what's different. But that'd, um, that'd be great. It also brings back the video introduction from Robert Altman, excerpts from the documentary on... Kazuo Miyagawa, okay. the cinematographer for oh, the project, okay. and it also brings back the booklet featuring um, the original two source stories that were used for it, awesome. Rashomon and In a Grove, and um, excerpt from the autobiography on Akira Kurosawa. So, damn, some good stuff. That's there. a pretty packed. It take, takes what was there before and adds some good stuff yep. as well. So Good old Criterion mm -hmm. uh, emptying our wallets yeah. every week. <laughs> totally. So we love you for that. And mm -hmm. anyway, you know, I, I would say a good selection of stuff. You know, you yes. got some with good special features. You got yes. some good films without special features. Mm -hmm. And you have some just great special features and great films yes. together. So it's pretty much the best of all worlds, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as always, you can join us next time for our discussion of Steven Spielberg and on yeah. the release of Lincoln. Can we believe we haven't talked about him before? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. We've talked about 
about a lot of things around him yes. and a lot of his projects, but yes. not him specifically. And you can I'm find excited. us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, mm -hmm. Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, yes. Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number 323-761-9842. We're on blip.tv, uh, yes. iTunes, Roku, Miro. Check in and get clue. And we will see you next time. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to bite the side of the Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.